Hello YouTube, D. Baudry here. Welcome to EV Components Review. Um, I have taken apart the V2 version of the QS165 and so the first thing I wanted to show was just the external hardware uh, which is nothing to see different than the V1. So yeah, all these cables are the same. I'm not even going to measure the resistance of these. Uh, if you're really fascinated, go look at the V1 stuff because they're going to be the same. Anyway, yeah, literally nothing different here at all. Uh, this cover plate right here is a little bit different. In fact, let me grab the V1 cover plate because I got that one all apart too. And so here is that one. So, yeah, uh, the, the labeling is different, but that's about it. You know, I had to mark everything V1 and V2 so I wouldn't confuse the two. Um, yeah, I guess I didn't mark that one V2. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, I mean, it's the same damn cover. It's just got a little bit of laser etching on it different. That's about it. Uh, this end cap, again, is exactly the same thing, V1 or V2. Um, yeah, the this uh, casting mold is somewhat fairly used. There's no milling marks inside it. And uh, here is the back piece. And again, this is the exact same thing as the V1. And you can see a little bit of milling marks still in there. Uh, so that that casting mold a little bit newer than the shell, the front shell, but otherwise that's a V1, nothing special. They both had the exact same position sensor sine cos in it, uh, the exact same board. So yeah, you're gonna look at a lot of things and see just the exact same parts because well they are the same parts. So let's get this out of the way, and uh, that's pretty much everything as far as the outside parts are concerned. Um, yeah, here is. Ah, let's go. Get out of the way. So here is the stator. Uh, this is all the same V1 or V2. The outside diameter is the same. Just looking at them, you're not going to know which one is a V1 or V2. So there are things that will tell you one or the other, but you've got to either take it apart or know what to look for in order to be able to tell it apart. So let me get this and put it on the floor. So on the V2. Uh, and this has to do with the five magnet poles versus the seven uh, and the fact that uh, these stator teeth in here are not quite square. I don't know why that shows up on camera, but they don't quite go square. They kind of go at a slight angle. Um, but uh, yeah, there, this is sta 12 stator teeth just like it is on the V1. This is five pull pairs rather than seven pull pairs. The V1 has seven, this has five. Uh, anyway, you take it apart, you're going to see some of those differences. But the way you're going to feel the difference from the outside is you spin this armature and it kind of grabs at the stator teeth a little bit and you'll feel that as pulsing. Whereas the V1 is just smooth. You don't feel any individual pulsing of the magnets passing by the stator teeth. So anyway, just by feel, if you feel it pulsing, there is a really high chance that is a V2 and just turning it by hand. And if you turn it by hand and you feel no, you know, like uh, re slight resistance as magnets and stator teeth match up, that's probably a V1. Uh, this is got V's in it. Um, I did say that wrong on the V1 version. Um, you know, they're more like this, just flat across here. On the V2, they are actually V's in there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, just wanted to show quick fit and finish stuff. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is go over like all these numbers that I've already written down several times so we can get some measurements off of the stator and off of here. And yeah, and then there will be a couple other videos after that where I do some comparisons between the V1 and the V2, which I have promised to do. Okay, well, I hope to help some folks out and uh, expect some more videos on this.